Welcome to our first Radiology Bits uh, quick case video. Our case today is uh, an advanced level case. When you see this sign, please pause to gain the maximum benefit from thinking about the provided images and processing the information. Now let's go to the discussion part of this case. The chest radiograph demonstrates uh, multifocal, scattered, high-density lesions. These abnormalities are actually seen on both the front and lateral radiographs, confirming the location within the lung rather than being extrinsic. Magnifying these abnormalities, we notice that they are actually scattered in a linear and branching pattern. Now the possible differential diagnostic list is what's presented in front of you. Pause here and think about these possibilities and see what you favor most. Calcified granulomas are very common and this is a reasonable differential diagnostic consideration. However, the density is extremely high for your typical granulomas. In addition, the branching appearance of the abnormalities does not fit with that of a typical granuloma. Aspirated barium is actually a potential consideration in this case. It's usually extremely dense on chest radiographs, but it would typically follow the distribution of airways. Bronchiolith cases is another possibility that could give hyperdense abnormalities on chest radiographs. These are usually calcified lymph nodes that erode into the lumen of airways, typically associated with other features of remote granulomatous exposure. Pulmonary ossifications are usually so tiny that they are difficult to see on chest radiographs and if seen they may appear as reticulonodular opacities. They are usually easier seen on CT than radiographs. The lower lung distribution of the abnormality may suggest a hematogenous process that is affected by gravitation. This raises the possibility of intravenous cement embolization which is a condition of embolization of cement material secondary to vertebroplasty. The other possibility is that of intravenous mercury embolization. This could happen either accidentally or by intention, usually seen after injection of mercury as a suicidal attempt. Mercury has a very high metallic-like density and is typically seen in the lower lungs due to the effect of gravitation. This is the CT of the same patient, confirming the abnormality as high-dense material seen in the lower lungs. Note the streak-like artifacts that are typically associated uh, with the metallic density. This actually concludes the diagnosis as mercury embolization. Thank you for watching. Please support our channel by subscribing, liking, or sharing our videos.